instead of robbing a bank, people are stealing identities. Someone falls victim to identity theft nearly every three seconds. It's one of the fastest growing crimes in the United States. And what's even more shocking is the number of people discovering a family member is the criminal. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Mike is off tonight. A national credit information firm says one third of victims had their information stolen by someone in their family. A man from Valley City called our whistleblower hotline saying he thinks someone is stealing his son's identity. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson shows us why the possible theft is so heartbreaking. They'd have to put in a fake uh, birth date to make them 18 years of age. This credit card offer showed up in Cody Williams' mailbox in October, addressed to his son, Brayden. It took me a minute to, to actually figure out how one could go about doing this, but it's, it's easier than, than you think. Yeah. Cody had twins back in 2009, a daughter, Hayden, and a son, Brayden, who died at four months old. I can't even describe it. It's something nobody should have to deal with. So when he got this credit card offer in the mail addressed to Brayden, he knew something was wrong. It only leads me to believe that somebody is using his social security number to benefit financially. And it's personally very sickening to take advantage of somebody's loved one like that. Cody has filed police reports, sent letters to the attorney general's office, and tried to run credit reports, but says he's stuck and the problem continues to grow. He thinks someone in the family is doing it, and maybe to his now six-year-old daughter, too. When I first initially did a credit report on my daughter, they were asking security questions that involved um, mortgages, car loans, cell phone information that they've gotten with that social security number, and it just floored me. It's brought back pain of loss and fear of gaining credit card problems for his daughter. She could start from ground zero and not be given the opportunity that everybody else has. Cody says he's going to continue to investigate, but wants others to learn from his feeling of hopelessness. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. A representative from the Attorney General's office says it does happen where people will open accounts under other people's names. It's a serious crime that could come with felony charges. Experts say checking your credit report often is important.